What's going on everybody, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm back on RuneScape on Crack, also known as Neverwinter. And yes, I am addicted to this game, I just wanted to clarify that, so I guess that lessened my addiction since I can say that I am addicted. I have accepted the truth. This game's freaking awesome. And I'm not just giving you guys a load of shit, it's just my opinion. Take it how it is. Like Rifle, I think differently of you now since you like this game so much. What in the hell is the matter with you? Readjust your daggone nipples, Rifle, what the heck's going on here? But no. It's the truth. Anyways, I wanted to talk about the dragons and what in the heck they do. Not all of the dragons, because I haven't got to all of the dragons yet. But I'm going to be covering Charthraxis, also known as the Green Dragon. First off, I would just like to say this is a team effort to take on this dragon. I do not suggest you to be Mr. or Miss Independent and try to head on toward this dragon and fight it head first. Like, yeah, that's right. I can take on the world. That's not going to happen. Let's get back into reality. This dragon will kick your ass. Some of you might have some crazy stories like, well, yeah, I soloed that dragon. What's up? That's good for you. But for the majority of us, this dragon is meant to be taken on as a team. It's suggested actually to take it on with six to ten players. Yeah, that's right. You heard that right. Six to ten. You're probably like, wait a minute. Can't only five people be in a group at once? You're right. That is a correct statement right there. That's a good reason why you're wondering that. There's actually quite a bit of other people that will show up here and fight this dragon with you. That's what's freaking also awesome about this game. It's so much interaction inside it. Like you can literally see players anywhere. And I do mean anywhere. Like if you feel the need that for some reason your character needs to go take a shit and you want to go into the restroom, well, be warned, you can actually see another player there. That's how interactive this game is. It's freaking awesome. I know some of you are probably wondering, why in the world would my virtual character go need to take a poop? I can't even see my character's butthole rifle. I don't even know. I don't even know if he has a butthole. I know there is a lot of wonders in this world. Well, I was just giving an example. I'm just trying to say, literally, you can see players anywhere throughout the whole game. The online interaction on this is incredible. But anywho, besides the pooping and the butthole point, let's get back to the point. Back to the first dragon you should encounter. More than likely, you first encountered this behemoth from a daily quest from Harper Wendell located in Never Death Graveyard. That is where this beast lies at, in Never Death Graveyard. Harper Wendell has a repeatable quest that you can do each day to go fight this behemoth and get some rewards, you know, some extra XP and some rewards from her. But not only that, you can also decide to fight Charthraxis whenever you want, so that means farming. Lots and lots of farming. The grind is real. It is very real in this game. I'm talking about grinding for hours, even days, even weeks, maybe even years. It is according to how much you put time in this game, but this game is all about grinding. But that is my kind of game. The grinding does not scare me. What the uck so ever. And actually a pretty helpful tip to help you farm Charthraxis, if you go to your local map, it will tell you when he is about to spawn. The behemoth spawns up around here in this location. And believe it or not, it's actually not that far of a travel from where Harper Wendell was at. But when I head toward it, I like to hang out at this fire right here and kind of chillax until he's just about to spawn. Then I head to his battlefield because there's tons of enemies at his battlefield and you'll be getting attacked by him. So if you're just in a chillax mood, this fire is your best friend. And what you get out of farming this dragon is plenty of goodies. Yes, this may be the weakest dragon of them all, but that doesn't mean this dragon is going to be actually weak. It just might be the weakest out of all the other dragons. And also, that doesn't mean your rewards are going to be poopy either. You're going to get some good things. Each of these dragons do drop cult secrets and also dragon coins, and these are used for currencies, of course, to buy some amazing... Uh. Pardon me. And these are used for currency, of course, to buy some amazing gear. But there are other daily repeatable quests that you can get fighting these other dragons as well. And once again, you don't have to be doing these quests to be able to kill the dragons. And also, yes, you can still get rewards even if you're not doing the repeatable quest. I know I've said that quite a bit, but I'm just trying to get it through your guys' head for those of you that do not know. And to claim the reward that you got from the dragon, you need to highlight over the Heroic Encounter Success option. That is where you will get your rewards that you got from the dragon. It should be right above Charthraxis. Actually, speaking of the rewards, here's a list of all the rewards that you get from Charthraxis. There's a lot of goodies that can be dropped from them. Every time I say Charthraxis, I just want to say Charizard. Just, just because. I don't know why. By the way, I forgot to mention to give you guys some useless information. Each of these dragon encounterments are actually called heroic encounters. But anywho, now you guys have seen the rewards that Charthraxis can drop, and you also know that he drops the dragon coins and the scrolls called the Cult Secret. The coins are always dropped from Charthraxis. Those you do not have to worry about. It seems that you get the Cult Secrets from doing the repeatable quests as a reward. And you're going to need to stock up on both of these in order to buy you some. 
and where you actually buy things with these currencies, you have to head back to Protector's Enclave. Once you're there, you're going to have to head up towards Sergeant Knox, and there's going to be this little guy up by Sergeant Knox. Only reason why I'm saying Sergeant Knox is a lot of people know where he is at, just because he gives you pretty much your first missions you ever get. This guy is located at Hall of Justice in the West Courtyard. He goes by Harper Legion Merchant, and he has some amazing loot you can buy. When you first click on him, the first tab that pops up with all these weapons that you can buy, you can actually only get these with a currency of Shard of Dragon Forge Steel. It can be used to purchase these artifact weapons. That's what the rarity of these weapons are called. This currency is obtained by opening a dragon artifact chest and also by salvaging other artifact weapons. As you guys are seeing, it only takes six shards, you know? Not that bad, only six of these bad boys rifle. How bad can it be? And let's just say, Obtaining an artifact weapon is pretty daggone rare. Each weapon that you salvage gets you one shard, and the artifact weapons are meant for level 60 characters. But anyways, to be able to even salvage, you're first going to have to be introduced to the player during the quest, Salvage Operation. Which that quest begins from this guy. But anyways, the Harper Merchant actually has more loot, and this is going to be where you can spend your dragon coins and your secret cult scrolls. As you can see, it's also going to take some other currencies as well, but I'm just saying, the more rare currency is the dragon coins and the secret cult scrolls. Like I said before, it takes some grinding. As you guys can see, you're going to need quite a bit of these bad boys. And not to mention, some of these items say you need them for certain quests too, so that's pretty interesting. But I haven't got that far yet. I just wanted to share the knowledge that I have learned with you guys, and hopefully it helps you all out. But that's about wrapping up this video. If the video was enjoyable, guys, please, please, please always remember to leave a like. It's much appreciated by me, and not to mention it helps the videos rating out quite a bit. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to some more Neverwinter videos in the future, and as well, I will always be bringing you Destiny content too. Thanks once again for checking out my video, guys, and thank you so much for taking the time to get this far in the video. But I'm out of here, though. Peace out.